We have a travel trailer, just like many of you, you uh, have a 4x4 tube here where you can slide your sewer hose in or whatever uh, you want inside there. And it's uh, made out of thin metal. So what I'm going to do is uh, scrape this rust that's built up in here. You can see, I'm going to get the majority of it out with a wire brush and then stuff a rag through there to wipe it down and the way I'm going to do that is I have a wire brush taped onto a PVC pipe to stuff through there and clean it and then when I'm done then I'm going to push this rag through here to clean it all out and maybe use a blower in it to uh, blow it all out the other end any dust that's in there and then I have this uh, Jasco prep and primer that uh, neutralizes rust and then it puts a, a coating on there to prevent future rust. I don't think they sell this anymore, but there's other things you can buy that are similar to it. It's liquidy. It's almost like water. And I've worked it uh, with it before. I've used it on like my jack stands that were all rusted out. You might have saw that video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this mini mop on there that I just happen to have. I'm just going to tape it on here after the wire brush. And then I'm just going to shove it in there like this. With it all saturated with that uh, prep and primer. And just wipe it all down and let it dry out. So let's see how this turns out. I have it all cleaned up with a wire brush. It didn't take very long. So you can see I've got it scraped down and there's a bunch of rust debris that's fallen in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is first before I run the rag through it, I'm going to blow it out with my leaf blower. Get most of the bigger particles out of there. Let's see how much dust comes out of this thing. That worked pretty slick. So it's all blown out, wiped down, and now I'm going to put the uh, prep and primer on it. Here it is all wiped down with the prep and primer. So let's see what happens. I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours and we'll see what happens here. I might be doing a second coat on it. We'll see. Here it is after I've done three coats of the prep and primer and wiped it down between each coat. It did fairly good neutralizing the rust and so um, between coats I sanded it down. I taped a sander on the end of a pole like that and ran it up and down. So I've decided to go ahead and paint this thing inside using the Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel Gloss Black. I had a couple options. I was going to maybe use this foam pad, tie a stick on the side, run it up and down. But I think what I'm going to do, I just happen to have this roller around. It's a three inch roller. Fits in here just right. It actually clears a little bit on each side and run it down and uh, see how that works just to rub it in and, and get it in there. So I'm going to wear my gloves and um, some people might be saying, well, this thing is rusting because you're carrying a sewer pipe in there. Well, um, I'm pretty sure these aren't painted inside when you get your trailer, just the outside. So they're going to rust no matter what. I cleaned my pipe, sewer pipe off before I put it in. So it's just natural uh, corrosion that would happen anyway without a sewer pipe in there. So I'm going to paint this uh, black in there and let it dry and then show you what it looks like. 
this is hard to video to capture what it looks like now the paint's on I got it all the way down to the other end you kind of see it they're better than down there so this roller worked out real well I got the extension pole to roll it down I use uh, this can I use probably down to about this point here less than a quarter so I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours and put one more coat on it and then it should be good for the rest of the life of the trailer so I'll be back tomorrow to show you more I have this all painted up I actually waited uh, put the last coat on so I have two coats so I've let it dry for uh, a couple days here's what it looks like inside it turned out pretty good I think it should prevent rust I advise you if you're gonna store your sewer hose in the bumper to paint it when you first get the trailer it save a lot of hassles later on I use the rhino hose um, and I use two sections. One is shorter than the other and it fits in the tube just right. In one of my other videos I showed how I put a knob on here. It's just a cabinet knob. Drilled the hole through it. Screwed the cabinet knob in there. So when I slide in the tube it's easy to get out. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this in and, um, and then show you how I'm able to pull it out easily with that knob. I have the hose in there, I pull the end off, I put this little cable here uh, a while back so that I wouldn't lose the cap, it just hangs there. It's in another video I'll put in the description below. So the hose is in there and I just have this on here like I showed you, the little doorknob. It pulls out real easy. I'm able to push it in and then close it back up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, make any comments you wish to say, and or any ask any questions you like, and I'll get back to you. Okay, thanks for watching, and I appreciate it. Take care, and happy camping, everybody.